me for this upper body blast class. Um, to keep things balanced, since last week I taught a butts and guts, I thought an upper body blast would be great. So hopefully you are going to enjoy this workout and get a little sweaty, just like me. So all you're going to need today are some dumbbells. I'm using five pounds, so a little bit lighter. Um, if you don't have dumbbells, you can use heavier soup cans or whatever you can find in your pantry. Um, something lighter, not something super heavy because we are going to be doing a lot of reps. Um, so what we're going to do today, we're going to break it down into three circuits. Each circuit has one less exercise. We're going to do those twice each, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Um, make sure that you have plenty of water with you and that you're taking breaks whenever you need to. Um, be mindful of the difference in flooring, so if you're on rugs and something feels weird, try to modify that. Um, just listen to your body. Take breaks when you need to, and then we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with a warm-up. First, we're going to do 30 seconds of jogging in place. So let's go ahead and start. Also, I'm not able to play any music for you due to some copyright laws. However, please feel free to play your own music. I will not be offended. I don't want to listen to myself breathe either, so you got this. Keep it going. All right, squats with overhead reaches. So as we squat down, we're going to bring our arms straight up, warm up all of our muscles, total body. I turn my feet out a little bit. It's a little bit more comfortable for me for my squats. Otherwise, feet should be pointing straight. Try to get those arms as high as you can. All right, keep those feet moving, but we're going to do some arm circles. Starting big, going forward. Other direction, same thing. Start to make them a little bit smaller. Other direction. Okay. 
damaging our hamstrings as well. You got this. You can do this 15 seconds. Make sure you turn in that back heel. Protect those knees. Keep that core engaged. You got this. Grab your dumbbells, smile. 
You got it. I believe in you. Just wait until the next circuit. There's only three circuits. Don't worry. All right. Other side after this 15 second break. Anyone else tired? I'm tired. It's only circuit one. All right. Other side. Let's go. Down and up. You got it. Squeeze those glutes 
together. Focus on that form. It's not a race. Quality over quantity. You can do this. Make sure you're not landing on your kneecaps if you are doing knee push-ups. Got this. You got this. Make sure you're breathing. We're engaging all of our upper body. If you think glute bridges are just for our glutes, you're wrong. It engages all of that lower back. So that's where your glutes connect. You got this. Not to mention your core. I can feel my core burning. 
You got this. We're almost there. All right. Last circuit. It's going to be fun. We're doing circuit burpees to start. Really pushing ourselves. So I'm circuit for burpees. Starting with like, come up, bring your hands up, down, and then you're switching sides. So I think we're doing curl press rainbows and then dumbbell dabs. It's gonna be fun. All right. Grab water if you have it. Then get down on the floor. Then we're gonna start. Now, up and up. This is gonna work that core, your back, your shoulders. You can go as slow or as fast as you want. When you bring your body up, turn your back foot. It gives you more stability so you don't fall over. You don't want that. I've done it, it's not fun. Try to get more. Done. We're going to cool down. So let's get back into our line. 
You got this. Finish strong, y'all. You got this. You can do this. I know you can. We're so close to the end, y'all. And y'all have helped through. You killed it. You're doing absolutely amazing. Don't give up now. All right, shake it out real quick. And then we're finishing off with our dumbbell dabs. I know, that's my favorite now. Hopefully it's gonna be your favorite too. Whew, have some fun with it. This is our last exercise, y'all. Let's go. Make sure you're still breathing. You do not have to go as fast as I'm going. Quality over quantity. Cause I'm burning out already. Make sure that core is tight the whole time. Push through, we're so close y'all. Don't give up. I know you can do this. One more. All right, shake it on out. Shake all of that out. Grab some water, and then we're gonna cool down. When you're done grabbing water, we're gonna start in our child's pose, stretching out our lower back and our shoulders. Whew. We'll take a collective deep breath. All right, we'll walk it on out on all fours, and then slowly bring those glutes back to our heels. Stretching our shoulders out. If you want a little bit deeper, scoot those arms forward. And just take a couple breaths here. Thank you. 
need to grab that upper arm, pull it. Make sure you're not pulling that elbow. Other side, same thing. Cross out over the chest. Drop your shoulder. You need to grab that upper arm and pull. Alright, arm comes up. Grab that elbow. Stretch out those triceps. Switch sides, same thing. Alright, arms come down. What we're going to do, interlock those fingers and then pull straight and then flip those hands. Hold that for a second. And then we're going to go straight all the way up. And then back down. All the way back up again. And back down. Shake it out. Take one giant deep breath. And then we are all done. Awesome job, everybody. I'm so proud of every single one of you. Thank you so much for coming to my upper body blast class. Make sure that you drink a lot of water and feed your body good nutrients. Um, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do. You can see all of our awesome content that we're posting, recipes, stretches, live streams, tons of classes, tons of exercises. So if you have any questions or anything, please feel free to reach out to us, follow our Instagram, um, check out our Google Calendar because that's where all of our events are. So we have stretch breaks, we have game nights, we have everything you could ever want. And if you don't, please let us know. We'd love to add it. Thanks so much, everybody. I can't wait to see all of you back at the Hatcher Center, hopefully very soon. Bye.